Well, greetings, hello, and welcome back. It's episode number 17 of Imperial Jedi, and today's episode actually is all about buses. Kind of a fun one. Where do I even begin? Lots to show you. Actually, I have some really cool ideas in the docket. We're going to be going over some different types of bus routes. I'll show you some really cool ways to uh, implement some fun, friendly little neighborhood ones, and uh, hopefully show you guys some cool stuff you didn't know about the, the buses yet. And it's going to be kind of a fun segue into uh, Metro. And the next episode will be like Metro and that kind of stuff, right? But let's start off with buses, and we'll see some, yeah, cause and effect. So cool stuff on the docket. Just number one, guys. Just kind of remember, like, what's the crowd like over here? All right, just keep in mind that it is manageable at the moment. And we're going to kind of see, like, what's about to go, not wrong, but see what happens when we start linking some areas together. But I've been testing some stuff out here, so I'm not trying to do spoilers, but I have an idea as to what's going to happen, hopefully. All right, so we do have some pre-existing bus lines over here, so we'll just let these things do their own um, thing. What's going to end up happening, though, is we're actually going to link up a few more buses, interestingly enough, down here, uh, where some of our other bus traffic kind of goes through between the university and that quadrant. And we're actually going to see a massive increase in people up there. And we'll kind of talk about like how to deal with that. And just overall, what I'm going to do is create an express route that links the western edge of the town over here, just over to um, uh, the university area and like where the transit hub will be going down. And we'll kind of see like the effect on that. And I'm going to create a couple uh, neighborhood routes here to give you some uh, inspiration on how to uh, do your own. And we'll talk about transit just in general. So hopefully uh, we have some fun here. Not sure how long this episode will be, but I kind of feel like when I get to the end, that'll be like however long it needs to be, you know? So we'll see. Probably not going to be the longest ones, though. And again, just kind of gearing more towards transit. So not too much building, just transit talk. Okay. So actually, let's start off very first by doing something kind of cute and fun over here in this neighborhood. All right, well... Off to a great start. Forgot water for these people last time. Well, never mind. Hold on. Start again here. Okay, so what I want to do is create a fun little uh, school bus route. You're taking yourself school buses? Yeah, for sure. So what I want to do is go over to our neighborhood, grab ourselves the bus line, and just find where the school is, which is right over here. And this is not going to be the most efficient route. This is just more like for some visual fun. We do actually get some people using this for its intended purpose, which is nice. So you will see students queuing at the bus stop, you'll see them yeah, get on the bus and you'll see them get off at, um, at the school. Very simple, nice little neighborhood loop through here, stopping pretty much in all four corners, making the detour, of course, for the school. And I'd argue that these guys here could probably walk if they wanted to, right? But this type of route, you don't really want to use this too often in uh, larger areas or for really any other reason than just kind of a cute little community feel like this. And the reason being, let's say, for example, you're at the school and you lived here. You now have to take the route the entire way. Not too bad because it's a short route, right? But this kind of stuff would not really work too well on like massive city planning. You know, if you live two blocks the other way, you know, you don't want to spend two hours on the bus, right? It just doesn't work. All right, so what we want over here is school buses. This is kind of a cool thing. You may not know about this. Make sure your game is fully updated. Sometimes I get people who ask like, why do I have more panels and stuff? Sometimes the DLC is what brings it. Often, if you just buy the game and haven't updated it yet, you're kind of missing out on all the cool stuff that's kind of happened along the way. So we're going to click on Transit, we're going to click on our line, and then over here we can actually change the model over. So we're going to make this one a school bus. And then over here, you can see zero out of three vehicles. So now they're spawning. This shows capacity and the spacing in between our stops. This is a uh, five-stop line. Can I count? Yeah, it looks like it. It also shows how many people are waiting at each stop, which is kind of cool. And these are the, theoretically, the people are going to get around the neighborhood or take the bus to school. So that's kind of cute. So we can cut back on neighborhood traffic, give more of a lived-in feel, bring the realism in because we have school buses now. And then, yeah, connect a few neighborhoods together. And we could do the same thing with this school uh, over here, the high school. But let's just do that for the moment, um, just to kind of give you guys the, uh, the idea, right? If you want to do it elsewhere in the city, totally feel free. And don't worry about changing the color of the line, which you can do via this panel here. The bus will always be that school bus yellow. And we'll try and track down a couple of those in just a second. What I want to do right now, though, is um, just kind of create a fun, like, neighborhood line going through um, uh, this neighborhood here. And what I'm essentially going to do is eventually run some more lines down this main road here. And I want to encourage some line sharing. So we're going to get everyone in this neighborhood the very quick, easy ability to get to this road here. And this road's going to have some shopping. It's going to have more bus lines going through it. Eventually, it's going to have metro. So it's kind of a fun way of connecting everything together. Like when you're building your city bus lines, you don't really need like one line going through the whole city, right? That doesn't really, doesn't work. You get, you get some weird bottlenecks too. So instead what you have is a few bus networks, a few bus lines, different types of transit, all kind of working together as a team. 
Let's stop here near the hospital, that's important. Let's go on this back way here. And I would make the argument that like the buses should go closer to the high density, because that's where you'll get the most bang for your buck. And by that same, you know, same flip of the coin, high density works best with Metro. You need people there to kind of justify the spend. Yeah, it's not too bad. I think the people in the dead center here, they're just kind of like arguably far enough that they kind of maybe walk anywhere, possibly hopefully walk down this way too. But if we notice that there's not enough usage here, we might maybe link one more small bus through. Now you'll probably notice this is the exact same type of bus that I told you not to do in the other zone, right? Thinking to yourself, Imperial, what are you talking about here? All right, so what we're gonna do is create a second line that goes the exact same route, but opposite direction. And that basically covers and tackles that problem you were running into earlier. Where like, you know, how do you get to the two stops the other direction without taking the whole line? You do this, of course. And you'll notice as well, all these buildings benefit from it. For you to get the highest level for some of your condo towers, offices, that kind of stuff, they need public transit. And it's just the missing, the missing link. And not only that, like the benefits are so good. You end up with better traffic in your neighborhood, get more of your uh, city connected, like pollution goes down, noise pollution goes down, which is like super key. And then, yeah, I'm going for a uniform bus fleet color, so I'm doing like red. If you are looking to get um, the same color, but it's not like an easy one to find like that, you know, just be patient. The two lines when they're next to each other, pretty easy way to do it, but just go for the same ballpark. You know, just kind of adjust as you need, right? So I think if you're patient, you can get pretty close or like relatively convincing. Yeah, it's not so bad. But for easy stuff, right? Like pick kind of a color gradient that's like easy to reproduce or um, one that's like super easy just to do this. So top right corner, you know? Okay. Now, what we're going to do is run another bus through this part of the neighborhood. We're going to be mindful of how the tram wants to go through here, and we're going to try and get it to link up with this, and maybe even stop through through part of this. And then it's just kind of like, yeah, linking all of these together. And you start with buses, you don't have to start with metro, and then we'll just look and see like what routes are starting to get full. And then we can maybe replace one of the busier routes with a metro. That's kind of the, uh, the end segue anyway. All right, well, you get the idea of that. So let's do a different type of route that maybe falls back on itself. So it does the same idea of this, but it's only one line instead of two. And maybe we can have it go through that middle section here, just to encourage a little bit more um, uh, sharing. And ideally what I'd like is just somewhere, I and mean, we could use the roundabout, I guess, right? Okay, this is a fun way, let's do it. Um, this is gonna go a different direction than the, um, the tram here, but just encourage some fun um, sharing. Okay, so I want that going into here. Great. And the goal is just to make it over to here so we can encourage line sharing. So that way, if you live over here, you can take the bus to here, switch on over, and now you can get to a work zone. And we're doing it in a direction that's gonna be kind of the opposite sort of of the tram. So these guys can kind of work together, not against each other. You don't really need like, you know, a tram, a bus, and a subway all going in the exact same direction. Cause like, you know, what's the point of it, right? And so we'll use the roundabout as our, um, oh, turn, okay, never mind. I was going to, but never mind. We can still if we want to. Yeah, let's do that. I like the idea of the roundabout. And then, oh, you know what, because of the way, yeah, we're gonna do it over here. So the buses are still close enough that I'd definitely make the argument they would 100% walk, so our line sharing is still happening. And this is kind of a find the fun way back through here. This is cool because of the way the one ways are, right? Yeah, it's kind of a fun thing. This is not really what I wanted to do because of the way the one ways are, but principally same kind of idea. Who's getting sick here? Yeah, you know, it's probably the noise. Fun tidbit, if you're just joining us for, uh, for the first time and you're still making, still enjoying the episode, still here, uh, use offices as a sound barrier. We'll be pleasantly surprised. All right, so the offices help just completely neutralize. I got, I was kind of gambling having those guys there, right? But just look at the difference, you know? The stark contrast there, so. Offices can be sometimes the deciding factor. And then upgrade your roads to have trees as well. 
Okay, well, let's put on three speed. Let's get some of these buses moving around now. Let's change this color over. I'm gonna show you one more example of a bus line that kind of falls back on itself. Cause I think you kind of get the idea, but this wasn't like really what I 100% wanted. Even though this is really awesome. Okay, so let's just head over here and do a quick little uh, neighborhood one. And um, you know what we could do actually is have one leave from the uh, university. I haven't done that yet. So create a new line. Just leave through here. And so yeah, principally the idea is we fall back and we hit the other side of the street using the exact same route. And it's as if we were doing that same trick from before with the two bus lines, but just one bus line now. So there's that. So that's kind of like a neighborhood bus line. That's kind of like a bigger version of neighborhood bus line if you want to think of like school versus what we just did. And then now here, because we're connecting some stuff together, we'll see just more overall usage. I'm gonna create one more style of uh, bus route, which is basically an express. And that's like a point A to point B with no stops in between. So I want that one to kind of go from here to the university zone. Kind of have that just uh, go in between the two streets even. Yeah, up here would be nice. And then remember at the very beginning of the episode, I told you to keep an eye on like the traffic that we had uh, going to and from the bus there. Let's sneak a peek and see what's uh, what's happened now that we've connected more zones and encouraged overall more more traffic you know, maybe the expresses can be a different color yeah dark blue that's cool okay so we're gonna keep it on three speed just for the sake of like you know letting the numbers crunch here but let's head back to that initial zone what's happening with our um, our people yeah it's already starting it's already starting look at how many more people are starting to come over here and the reason is now it's more attractive to leave your car at home. You can get so much more like done on the bus, right? Public transit is the number one. Look at this, oh my goodness, this is actually becoming alarming. So we've essentially opened the floodgate. You can see this bus is gonna be full before, oh yeah. And this problem is only going to get worse. That's not a bad thing though. What we're basically saying to ourselves here is we need um, Metro. Now, something we could do for fun, which won't really solve the problem, but we could upgrade this to be a tram. And we could do that in stages. Not that I'm going to actually do the tram, but hypothetically, if you want to kind of tell the story, maybe we could make this into a trolley bus first. You know, if the trolley bus becomes popular, that could be the justification for making it into a tram. We already have the overhead catenary cables, like the wires are, you know? And the tram buses, I mean, if you're going for like a, um, the tram buses, the trolley buses, if you're going for a green city vibe, Trams and trolleys are incredible. Let me just get rid of that. But yeah, trams, trolleys, they run on the electric grid. And if your electric grid is completely green powered, if you're like solar and that kind of stuff, like that's a green city. You know, you don't need those big, um, big old honking heavy pollutant buses. Use the biofuel if you got the Green Cities DLC and use trolley buses. So for fun, let's upgrade this. I don't think it's going to solve the problem. The trolley buses basically have the same capacity as the regular buses, but you know, Fair fun. And then yeah, a city just might not have the infrastructure or budget to just start out right away with trams or um, or metro. So you might have to kind of spread the cost out. And so if you're after a city that has that like real city vibe, natural progression kind of to it, maybe this is kind of the way to, to tell that story. And then, you know, there might not be enough people to justify doing a metro. So maybe a, uh, you know, a tram would be more than enough. Start with the trolley, go to the tram. Kind of like a case study. Yeah, we'll kind of see. Like, I don't think we're going to do this into a, uh, a tram. I think I'm going to keep it a trolley, but you never know. Especially if you guys in the chat or, uh, or in, the, in the comments section want to see that conversion eventually. Now, as far as I know, you cannot upgrade a pre-existing bus line and convert it to a tram. I think it's a, or a trolley, sorry. I think it's a redo it. And then, as far as I know, the new hubs, I don't think there's a way to get the uh, the, tr uh, the trolleys or the trams um, in through these. And I think we're actually at the point, too, where we've kind of outgrown that one. So what I'm going to do is grab this, put that just over here. And I'm going to delete this building and go for the larger one now that's got the metro built into it, which is going to be kind of like the tie-in to the end of the episode. So I want the... 
metro inner city. That's the one here. And I'm actually going to push this a little bit further down. And before I do, let's just do the smidgenist of um, terraforming. And we're unfortunately going to lose a couple nice buildings here, but all in the interest of um, uh, development. Looking good. Symmetry. What am I trying to justify this as? Progress. All in the name of progress. Now, I just want this to be a flat spot here, just so the parking lots and stuff look nice. And the buses are kind of like interacting with it uh, rather smoothly. I do like the idea of um, uh, introducing two-way traffic through here so we can get more use out of that bus lane. So I'm going to do an asymmetrical road that goes from uh, here in. Cool. And then we'll bring the bus line back up, or the bus lane, sorry. And that's just now a one-way road that's going to leave. Okay, and that gives us a chance to redo that, hopefully, a little bit nicely. Like stuff, you know, it's not it's not permanent. You can definitely redo things if you need to, especially if the lines and stuff aren't really jiving. Oh, that's so much better. And just from our trial and error before, right, the longer things are, the smoother theoretically they should be. That was pretty good. Um, not right there, though. Oh, we almost got it. This is, again, one of those arguments for, like, the Move It mod. It would just solve these problems in a split second. But I do kind of want, you know, like, I, I'm willing to do this kind of stuff. I don't mind. As long as you guys are willing to watch it. I'm not trying to make it too boring, too. This won't be, like, a 25 times re reshuffle, you know? But I just want to have, like, a big city by the end of it, and then to be able to say that, yeah, you know, we did this with Vanilla. You know, you can do it, too. That kind of mentality. Like, I really want to have that. Definitely move it mod, quality life mods would like fix this stuff, but I know we can do it without it. So hopefully we can find that fine balance. I, I know I will in eventually introduce it and convert some of you guys into mod players, but some just do not have the option. You know, no internet, um, you're on console, computer just isn't upgraded yet, can't do it. That's cool. And we're straddling kind of both sides of the intersection, so we'll hopefully get some cool um, ins and outs here. All right, so um, we're going to be deleting the red roots. Oops, over here, thank you. And we're gonna replace that with the, the trolley buses. Okay, so the depot, I found this out, looks absolutely wonderful over here. I'm actually gonna put a one way to replace that fully. Isn't that great? Oh yeah, that's fantastic. All right, so I found that out by accident when I was testing stuff out, it has to go there. So the trolley bus depot, it's very noisy. We're fine in the mall. You know, we got the highway behind us, we're okay. And then let's now make our route. So we're starting here, going through the back area. And the stops, you know, they gotta be like one, two, three blocks away, just kind of far enough. Like just thinking in real life, like how far are you willing to walk in between stops realistically? Okay, so I can't unfortunately have these two uh, overlap. I might be able to do, yeah, that's beautiful. And I don't need to stop right there. Um, let's start heading back up. And I think the more of these you'll do, the the more natural will start to feel. And you'll kind of look at the space and you'll look at the traffic of the people going in and out and you'll be like, okay, time to upgrade to Metro. Time to maybe run a different bus through here. So let's try that and let's look at everything now together on three speed. And then we'll find a way to like, you know, creatively like reduce people traffic um, but still increasing um, overall transportation footprint. And that would be like a metro. So over here, right, the express route, this is probably, holy smokes, man. Right, so the express route is great because it brings you deeper into the city and connects you to the rest of our transit options, right? It's just like, uh, you know, if we put 100 more buses, I don't even think we'd make a dent. So this right now, this is an absolute prime candidate for a metro. Can we keep the bus? Sure, we can do both. You know, they'll kind of like help uh, help each other. The, the express route, I'd probably then justify maybe having one stop then, you know, so it's slightly different than the metro. But let's say, for example, we had a metro in this corner over here. Or maybe even a little bit closer to um, to these guys here. Let's keep it below ground. Yeah, actually, that works over here. And just as a small little starter intro, like I'm not going to make too many stops or that kind of stuff. I'm just going to connect this from point A to point B and just kind of talk a little bit about it. But I'm probably going to end up deleting this, and we'll change it for when we do actual Metro. Or we'll just reconfigure it next episode, you know? Metro, uh, you can take sharper turns, no problem. I'm not looking to do the sharpest turn with this, though. 
And then Metro is basically like a lighter, smaller version of a train. And trains, they're big and heavy, they're still wonderful, they go very fast, but they take a while to get to speed. So train stations especially, you want to have your stations spread out. Metro, they're not as big, they're not as heavy. They still carry a lot of people though. But because they're lighter vehicles, like the light rail, uh, hence that term, right? You can get um, you know tighter turns, more um, more stop frequency, because you have the, top, uh, the stops closer together, because the vehicles won't take as long to, um, to get to speed. And then same kind of idea, right? Like you want to have the stop spaced just far enough out that you wouldn't really walk it, because that's not the point, right? You'd kind of take Metro maybe five or six blocks, and then maybe there's a bus when you get out to help get you to your final destination. So I wouldn't overdo it. Metro's very expensive. You gotta be going places where, like we saw, like there's high density, um, there's so much demand, right? You wouldn't just put a Metro for fun, unless, you know, unless you're a baller, right? But what we're hoping for now though, right, is the next round of people, instead of them all queuing over here, because their pathways have already been determined, let's start watching the, the crowd start shuffle over in that direction. And it's the exact same route, you know? So we should see this as the more efficient option, because it's faster. And then to justify still having the bus, we can add one more little stop, or maybe change the route slightly. But look how many people are going over here now. Still get some over here, which is good, still mixing it up. Maybe those that live just a few extra blocks down here are like, I'm not walking that few extra blocks, I'm already here. These groceries are heavy, we're stopping. And so in that sense, it's kind of good. You know, it helps spread the load, right? But over time, this will decrease, become more manageable. And then this will be the preferred choice. And because the capacity is so much greater on this, there just shouldn't be any issues at all. Especially if we see the, the people queuing, right? Yeah, we have empty platforms. But look at the volume going in. That's fantastic, right? And so that same thing could be done over with the trolley buses the in, um, in that first part where the mall is. Let's go take a look over there and see how we're doing. So the trolley buses, yeah, I probably didn't fix the problem. I, I didn't think it would. Uh, they just look fantastic, so I like using them. But the trams, trams do carry more people. I'm pretty sure the trolleys are a 30 as well. Yeah, so it's 30 and 30, so it's the same as um, a regular bus. And the trams would have a higher capacity. But here, you know, here would be a good spot for the, um, for the, yeah, for the metro. Man, words are hard for me today. But I hope that kind of makes sense, though. Just the kind of way, like, everything ties together. And capacity of vehicles, routing, you know, the density, location of the city, like, what is the what is the purpose of the route? All that kind of stuff, you know? It plays very heavily into it. You might not think it does, but it definitely does. And we can see the cause and effect. When you start linking up more zones of the city, out of nowhere, one small quadrant is just, it's so busy. All these people here can suddenly, like, leave their car at home because the rest of the city is accessible to them. And we've done that by connecting up a few different zones together. You know, suddenly, uh, John, Pat, and Sally can all go meet in the middle, right? Whatever that's supposed to mean. But yeah, no, here. So now that we've gone back, time has been uh, been crunching. This should be more more manageable, right? Yeah, where all the people go. Done and done. We just shifted them to a more, you know, suitable means. And we can free up uh, bus traffic, right? Because what would be the alternate, right? We end up putting like 25 more buses. That creates traffic. That's counterproductive, right? So bike lanes, walking, buses, metro. Get your people out of the cars. Find a fun way to do it. And they'll be forever grateful. All right, guys, I think that's it. Not a bad little start. Kind of went on a little bit there, maybe rambling for some stuff. But I hope this helped a lot. Like, buses are fantastic. Like, don't ever stop using them. It's not like when the city gets big, the buses go away. You just might shift to bigger and better things. But then, like, the metro is only as strong as the routes that kind of support it. If you live across the street, you're going to use this metro. Right now, there's no buses supporting it, right? So we got to start pumping some more stuff through here. Trams and buses. Get the tram linked through here. Get people going. Right? To justify this route, add one maybe more stop, right? You'll start seeing people use this bus again. Done and done. Maybe two more stops, right? So it's an express with four stops. Still express. Can't stop everywhere. Anyway, just uh, use this accordingly. And have some fun. I think that's the main thing. Make mistakes. That's not the end of the world. And don't be afraid to change the budget sliders. Trial and error. We'll get you there. All right, guys. I'll see you again. Next episode, we'll be focusing more on the trams and the metro. And we'll probably do a follow-up episode after that with uh, some uh, trains. And uh, later on in the city, maybe like five, six, seven episodes later from now, we're going to revisit this, but we're going to have more of a cargo fo uh, focus. So we talk about like cargo lines, how to get goods flowing instead of having just like trucks on the highway. And that'll be a lot of fun. So yeah, stay tuned. All right, guys, thanks for taking out. 
I will see you again. Drop me a comment. Like, ask as many transit questions as you can. I will do my best to either incorporate them in the next video or uh, just you know, answer them. We also have JBS, our transit expert. Uh, he's keeping an eye out in the chat, so look out for him. And uh, yeah, all the best, guys. If you found some Eureka moment, share it with us. We'd love to hear that. Otherwise, we'll see you again. Take care of yourselves and happy building.